Zeno Education Society. Redefining Excellence. Hello everyone, this is Pranjal Gaikwad and I am pursuing second year in Computer Engineering from Zeal Polytechnic, Nare Pune. And today I am going to explain about my PBL activity of Data Communication and Networking subject with my partner Shiti Jabari. And this activity is done under the guidance of Professor Manoj Shinde. So, title of the project is Draw Topology Used in Computer Labs. So, what is Network Topology? Network topology refers to how various nodes, devices and connections and on your network are physically or logically arranged in a relation to each other. Like think of your network as a city and the topology as the road map. Just as there are many ways to arrange and maintain a city such as making sure the avenues and boulevards can facilitate passage between the parts of the town getting the most traffic. The several ways to arrange a network each has advantages and disadvantages and depending on the needs of your company certain arrangements can give a greater degree of connectivity and security there are two approaches to network topology physical and logical physical network topology as uh, name suggests refers to the physical connection and interconnection between the nodes and the network the wires cables and so forth logical network topology is a little more abstract and strategic Referring, referring to the conceptual understanding of how and why the network is arranged in a way it is and how data moves through it. Why is network topology important? The layout of network is important for several reasons. Above all, it plays an essential role how and how well your network functions. Choosing the right topology for your company's operational model can increase performance while making it easier to locate faults, troubleshoot errors and more effectively allocate resources across the, across the network to ensure optimal network health, a streamlined and proper, properly managed network topology can increase energy and data efficiency which can in turn help to reduce operational and maintenance costs. The design structure of network are usually shown and manipulated in software created network topology diagram. These diagrams are essential of a few reasons but especially how they can provide visual representation of both physical and logical layouts allow, allowing administrators to see connection between devices while troubleshooting. Um, next is uh, what's the most common type of network topology. Building a local area network, LAN, topology can be make or break for your business as you want to set up a, a resilient, secure and easy to maintain topology. There are several different types of network topology and all are suitable for different purposes depending on the overall network size of your objectives. And phys physical topology is the geometric ref representation of the nodes in the network there are various type of network topology first in first one is point to point second is bus third is ring fourth is star and fifth is tree sixth mesh and hybrid first topology is star topology a star topology the most common network topology is laid out so every node in network is directly connected to one central hub via twister pair or fiber optic cable acting as server server this central node message manages data transmission as information sent from any node on the network has has to pass through the central one to reach its destination and functions as a rep repeater which helps prevent data loss there are advantages and disadvantages of uh, star topology it's uh, Advantage is easier to install, less expensive and less amount of cables required because each device needs to be connect, connected with the hub only. This what disadvantages are if hub goes through down everything goes down. None of this device can work without hub. Second topology is bus topology. A bus topology orients all the devices on the network along a single cable running in a single direction from one end of, of the network to other, another. 
which is why it's sometimes called a line topology or backbone topology. Data flow on the network also follows the route of the cable moving in one direction. Advantage is easy installation. Each cable needs to be connected with backbone cable and less cables require than mesh and star topology. Disadvantages is difficulty in fault detection not scalable as there in limit of how many nodes you can connect with the backbone cable third one is ring topology in ring topology each device is connected with the two devices on either side of it there are two delicate point point links a device has with a device on the either side of it this structure forms a ring thus it known as a ring topology if device wants to send data to another device then it sends the data in one direction each device in ring topology has a repeater if the received data is attended for other device in the repeater forwards the data until the attended device receives it the advantage of this topology is easy to install and managing it managing is easier as to odd or remove a class device from the topology only two links are required to be changed and this what this advantage is data traffic issues since all the data is circulating in a ring next topology is mesh topology in mesh topology each device is connected to every other device on the network through the dedicated point to point link when we say dedicated it means that the link only carries data for the two connected devices only. Let's say we have an N device in the network that each device must be connected with N minus 1. Devices of the network number of links in a mesh topology of N devices would be N minus 2 or 2. Advantages are no data traffic issues as therein is a de dedicated link between two devices which means the link is only available for those two devices. Disadvantage is amount of wires required to connect it. each system is tedious and headache. Next one is hybrid topology. As you can see the in the picture, the combination of two or more is known as hybrid topology. For example, a combination of star and mesh topology is known as hybrid topology. Advantages are we can choose the topology based on the requirement of for example scalability is our concern the concern then we can use star topology instead of burst topology and disadvantages uh, fault detection is difficult installation is difficult and design in complex maintenance is high thus expensive. Um, this is the example of star topology as you can see in the middle there is a switch and it's connected this is a this is an example of star topology so conclusion of this uh, pbl activity is uh, topologies are essence of computer networks design efficient networks can only be built based on the complete knowledge and understanding about the mentioned topologies thank you